Our WhatsApp number once again zero nine zero five double six zero eight five eight three. Then our phone line zero seven zero two three five three seven zero six. Our phone number once again sorry zero seven zero two zero three five three seven zero six. Call us. Uh, we have a call on the phone. Hello. Good morning. Thank you. Where are you calling from? from? My name is Marvin Dubrovnikov. Calling from Aba. You're welcome. Uh, I thank you very much for what you are doing for us because it is not easy. Go to Chikoka and uh, Provost here. Yeah. I thank you people very much for what you are doing. My brother, if we are to unite as a Biafra and get what we want, it is it is right for us because as it is now, as it is now, it is fully clearly to every human being that is still alive that we are the one that is keeping Nigeria well. That is what it is to me. We, we, the, we are the people keeping Nigeria out today. If we agree today to destroy that zoo in our hands, Chukwu Kikandewa has given us the power, of the, everything that is needed to stand together as a purpose and get our freedom. By returning back, going back to, the, to, 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 to our Elohim, that is only where. If you go back to your Elohim, there's nothing our Elohim cannot do for us. If you will be anybody that the spirit of the Biafra is we will not even need for us to by the life for him to know what to do. To come and join the life. I'm telling you that we are the people holding ourselves. If you concentrate ourselves from the idol that the British, the way they amalgamated Nigeria is the way they amalgamated us into evil, evil worship. But make our Elohim to stay away from us. Since we live our way and join the way of the British people and they are and they are worshipping, just turn, 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 turn over against us. As you know, I have to say, 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 I to and the truth we worship, we are going to identify all the way we are in the whole world. But today we are running around, chasing after shadows. Worshipping the idols of the foreign people worship, instead of coming back to Chico Kadiawa. Why is it again not going to take our resources? According to the history of from my father, that is about 100 years today, he told me that when we return our tradition, no any brothers come into our land. No any invaders come into our land. She's there the same boss. I give us more. I, 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 I don't have it. She's there we start suffering. Let us come the Afra will be restored. Come, I will say, come back to me and I will restore your kingdom. In the move of Yaka, I said, I will restore to my longer use when you come back to me. But today, what are we doing? So it is late for us to restore the Afra. We, even with us, they are not that far, they are not like Nigeria. We are the ones sharing our blood for them, so through them, and all of them are coming back to our spoken and so forth, they are killing the one after another. Even our leader, Mojuku, was killed by Nigeria. So all those things we Hello, call on the phone. Can you hear me? Call on the phone. Are you there? We'll have a call on WhatsApp. Hello. Hello, call on WhatsApp. <laughs> Caller on WhatsApp. Hello. Good morning from here. Okay. Wada Chukuka. Ngazi Chukuka. You're welcome. A child. A daughter of Zaya. Okay, Friday, my humble brother. Good morning. Good afternoon. 
Good evening, depending on your time zone. I remind your humble brother, Mazi Ekuruke, calling from Igwecha province, but from Omaha province. Uh, please, I want us to use every opportunity or every opportunity created to us by LOE to make sure that we restore Biafra as soon as possible. And I see this trip, I see this jubilee, a claimed trip to Japan as a wonderful opportunity, a wonderful chance for us. Now the whole world has seen, at least the, the Japanese government will bear us witness that jubilee did not attend the summit or whatever name they call it in Japan. That even if he went to Japan, he, he, he was, he went as a, you know, in order to cover, to cover up. So the truth has been revealed. So I see this as a wonderful opportunity and to, number one, to vindicate our leader, Madanan de Kano, that this man is actually an imposter. Which means illegitimate government is holding all the indigenous people stage in Nigeria, in the country called Nigeria. So we should not allow this opportunity to go by. So with this, why am I saying this? Remember Gaddafi, when Obama was there, Gaddafi was, uh, would I say, elected by his people. And he was, you know, trying to unite the whole Africa. And the Obama saw that. And how did they see how the British and all these people you call the Western world do? They will use your people against you. They use a, an African man, Obama, in the name of Obama, to destroy Gaddafi. See Zimbabwe. See the time of uh, Indian men of Uganda. When they come up, they, they, call, they target in them and destroy them. Zimbabwe, Mugabe, you see how he was removed. How much more now that this one is actually an imposter? This one is actually from Sudan, coming to claim that he's a Nigerian. And when the truth will be, so I want us to, I want us to do that shit if the other indigenous people in Nigeria are not ready to do anything. As far as we thought we are victims in the, in the zoo called Nigeria, as far as the Air France, as far as IPOBs, we fall victim. We should make use this opportunity. We should gather our hands if, if there will be war or whatever. It will be this opportunity. So that we will go and fish out this man. Nobody, no international community will come. We stand against it again. Because the person mining us, holding us hostage in the name of government, is an imposter. He's a foreigner. He's from Sudan. So we are going to hunt him down, even in Asua. Oh, and all his accomplices, accomplices and all his character that he used to surround himself, both in Jafra land, Arawa land, and Ududua land. <laughs> this is a wonderful opportunity. We should not make use this opportunity. They are going to distract us and they know what is coming for them. They know that this is a wonderful opportunity, which every part of the world will not stand against us. So please, God, God bless Jafra in the name of our Lord, you shall be blessed. You see, you see, you see. Call on the phone, hello. Hello, call on the phone, can you hear me? Call on the phone, are you there? All right, we'll lose that call. We'll have a, another call mm. Hello. Hello. Yeah, what's the name? Where are you calling from? Good morning from here. Hello, my name is Sukuru Manuel. Okay. Are you hearing me? We can hear you. Go ahead. Yes. I want to talk about the... the um, European Union saying that they are not good upon Nigeria on the request this time we hear stories of hundreds of millions of dollars and pounds the European Union and the other Western Union are sending to Nigeria in terms of supporting them in one way or the other it is very, very clear 
there are those money that they are sending is ending up in some all these criminals in Nigeria who say they are politicians who are a fair of Nigeria and those people that they send the money to the money will not reach to those people God will show you the type of country we are that is like they, they want to be one Nigeria when you hear anybody saying he is Nigeria the person is lower than animal living in the bush nobody who is known as a human being will say that he is Nigeria I've been saying it with that a, 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 a lot of time that anybody called himself Nigeria is just like the use man on earth. I don't know how to put it across. The European, uh, the Europe says a full of 40 is full forever. But Nigeria is a full of 60. A full of 60 is forever remain like that until the end of the world. Nobody can come out and say it's Nigeria. Those people who are claiming that they are Nigeria are those people that answer people and Yoruba people. They pay their money just to make themselves up. Nigeria is the most useless country in the whole world. If you hear the news of money that is going, they are stealing in Nigeria. Some countries don't have it. But they are living very big. But in Nigeria, so few people are sharing the money without fear. And some other idiots will come out and say they are Nigeria. Sorry for them and sorry forever. I'm happy for what happened in Japan. And more are coming. Let us see, uh, let, let us pray that you go to Kadiyama. We enter into uh, all the foreign uh, 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 government. So that they will help us. Because if they say they will not allow our people to exercise their, 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 their anger or to protest against all these scared idiots in Nigeria, call them PDP and the APC. It's still a very big, difficult for us to, to penetrate and to fight with these evil people here. Masika, so if we have right, the chance so to attack them, I think that's the best thing for us. So, I'm happy for what is happening. I'm happy for our downfall of Nigeria. And Nigeria will never, never come up until everything ends up. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. All right, Biafra. Biafra, we All right, Biafra. Thank you. Call on the phone. Hello. <laughs> Call on the phone, hello. Yeah, good morning. Thank you so much. Good morning from here. Welcome to the program. Hello, podcast. good morning. We can hear you. Go hello. ahead. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Okay, my name is uh, Pastor Samuel Ojakis. I am from from Olu. Profit. And I am the coordinator of Umo's Zone 1 in Adam. Hello? Can, I, can, can, can you hear me? We can hear yeah. you. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you very much, my sister. I want to thank you very much for the wonderful job you and my brother are doing for us. And I always pray that you will hear them and we could not sing you and my brother we continue giving you more wisdom and knowledge I always pray for you wherever you are in studio but you you are you are doing a wonderful job for us you are so great you are peculiar and peculiar Thank bless. You. God bless you well, well. Bless you I want too. to talk on the issues of uh, the, 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 the problem that we are having today some of our uh, brothers, so-called senators, so-called governors, 
okay. from Germany. You're welcome. So I want to read you. I thank you very much for your contribution every time. It's not easy to fight for freedom. We all are crying here. And I've been my journey. So I'll see my boy. I'm my boy. I want to do can work up. So I come. I want to do this morning. This morning. No case you pass on Asia, please look on no chair on Atlanta, Georgia, and America. Or I can come work at that because I'm one friends. I'm one of my friends in America. Okay, uh, so far, no. uh, what about you for you? We've not seen him, our people are there, but he has not been seen. Uh, so just, I just want to confirm because I will call my friend now after I drop. Right. So no, because I think he cannot. I think he, uh, I think he cannot go to America because of what is happening. They are killing the African people, so everybody is angry. But I just have a little contribution. It's okay. This is my question. Keep okay. up, keep it up. What we are doing, we are your program every time in January. So we so much love it. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. All right. Call on the phone. Hello. Hello? Yeah, what's your name? Where are you coming from? Hello? Hello? Okay, good morning. Thank you. Good morning from here. My name is Akman Wadangozi. Okay, where are you calling from? My name is Akman from Atestra Mohonekiza. Okay, go ahead. Speaking to you all in the studio there, especially my brother, Mario Gifraide. Good morning to you. My contribution this morning is to say happy new month to Ebony Atiobi and Atiobi General. Worldwide. Thank you so much. May the God kind of my bless everybody. You see? The Avra must be restored in our own time. I remember my Zek, my Boma, my sister, my Boma, my Kiza. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have another caller on the phone. Hello. Hello? Yeah, good morning from here. What's your name? Hello. I'm calling from. Hello, we can hear you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, what's up, the Avra? It's all well with you. I want it's to hear all IT members, all the other leaders. In fact, they have made us to be so proud of, of who you are. We are no longer being intimidated. We are no longer being intimidated. Hello? We can hear you. Speak up. Okay, uh, okay. Well, uh, my name is Nafo Jafar. Jafar. We have another caller there. Hello, Hello. call on the phone. Hello. Yeah, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, call on the phone. Call on WhatsApp. Hello, good morning from here. Yeah, good morning. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, my name is Phil Diko Bonna. Can I uh, permit me to speak my dialect? All right, go ahead. Okay. I am Diko Bonna. I'm Bonitem. platform <laughs> So one another Bonjour, 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 bonjour
and the former secretary of IPOB Mapuji. Okay. Yeah, my contribution this morning is I watched a video yesterday by uh, IPOB members late siege in the hotel where uh, Nia Ngodo was hiding. I would say where he was lodging, you know, where he lodged. But I would say where he was hiding. And I saw police officers, Madrid police officers, very much, you know, there they were, they were many there. So my question is, before these people, you know, called this number of police officers, it shows that Mordo and their colleagues actually bribed the Madrid police for them to have such number of police officers present in that hotel to avoid IPOB catching them. Now, what I want, I would suggest IPOB hierarchy do is, or probably our leader, Mazen Amdekanu, should post it in his Facebook account, his Facebook uh, wall, that the Madrid or the Spanish government should probe or investigate into that case. They should investigate that very matter because for these people to, you know, pull that number of police officers, it showed that this uh, uh, and their colleagues, they actually paid them. They actually bribed them. And in that case, please, I, uh, I want everybody to know that the more the more they, the more they do all these things, it, the more it shows the world that these people are corrupt. They are corrupt politicians. They are the reason why we are suffering. So that is my contribution this morning. I also want to uh, encourage all IPD members and non-members to continue doing what they are doing because at last their fire shall be restored. I shall be mm -hmm. signing off from here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, we have a call on Skype. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Colonel Skype, can you hear me? Okay, yeah, good morning. Good morning. Thank you, good morning from here. What's the name of you are you calling yeah. from? Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Peter Mokalambo. I'm calling from Mr. Yeah, good morning. Uh, my brother and the student. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you very much. Um, I want to commend you for your job on daily basis. Good morning. It's not easy. But we are doing all we can to make sure that uh, we get up our independence. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, on this page. Uh, there's a post our leader made yesterday. We are the southeast of uh, the head of Britain, and they are, they are denying that they are not aware of the operation Python. Good morning. I know from my own view of this, this uh, of their statement, these people have sold their mindset to the fact to the extent that they can't even remember what they said few minutes ago, even what is recorded on video, they can't even remember it or they can deny it. Either they can deliberately deny it, saying what they know, they said they, they are part of it, denying what they know very well. These people say that the IPOB activities must be dead. And how can they dead with the activities of IPOB if they are not conspiracy of now they are denying about it, the Southeast governors. Hello. This is just the beginning. Hello. We are taking the land on Biafra, and they should know this. If these people have sense, Hello. they could have risen very well to comprehend this fact that our leader went to America, went to Canada, tell them that whatever he is wearing here, by families. So what does that tell them? That IPOB members are sponsoring themselves. Then now they will not think that if this man, Mazen Nandikala, are giving some people money, what do they think they will see? These people don't even have this treatment. Now they are denying that they are not part of what happened in their foreign that Okay, if they are not part of have they called Nigerian government to arrest those people, those military that keep almost 30 or 20 of our people in our leader's house? Have they done? If they are the chief executive, when you say chief executive, in security, you also chief executive of security of the state, and you fail to arrest or to call the federal government to arrest those that kill our people. Then you want us to respect you. We don't want to see you in Europe at all. We are here, and that, that's one of our brother that called and said something that the evil association or evil meeting should stop. Uh, I want to put this into our IPOB family members, wherever we decide. 
from now we should join those meetings and when we join this meeting our objective should be that we will counter any the the raise emotion that they want to bring uh, such person we want no, to host in EG, we will counter it and we will make sure that we are more a number than them in every community in everywhere they're doing it this even if they're doing it that place we will come there and join them whatever there is they want to the bring uh, social leaders from Africa to come and eat in, in Germany or France or Holland we said no we don't want it and we counter it make sure that we bring it down and this is the only way out we must join them in that not to do their meeting but to just to disorganize okay, thank you, thank you. that's your personal opinion yeah. and it's, it's a very nice one it's a very nice one but if only the leadership endorses that. that yes yeah so we also must have say. a superior argument to counter the ass exactly mm. exactly all right call on whatsapp hello hello yeah good morning thank you so much what's your name and where are you calling from my name is benedict Aparako. i'm calling from germany okay you're welcome. Go ahead. Now, please, please, my dear sister and my brother, you listen carefully. Our people down home don't get information. The Nigerian government, the terrorist government have blocked every information. So our people don't get information at all. Even when they post the information themselves, I mean the terrorist government post the information themselves, they block it to our people. So we are having complete information here. The, uh, the, the, what we should be discussing about is our security. Let us keep everything down and talk about just only security. The Nigerian terrorist government and the, their uh, laborers or their servants or their slaves uh, Dave Rumah here, uh, okay, Zibazo and all the stupid idiots are now discussing with the terrorists, police, Boko Haram and the henchmen to use air to monitor our land, Biafra land. They are looking for a way to gain access to our place. And that is what we, IPOB, should, should talk about, not any other thing. We have to follow them bumper to bumper so that because when they use that in the air force to monitor our territory, they are going to drop land mines, bombs, and uh, ammunition. That's what they are going to do. This idiot, our Dave and his fellow governors are useless. They are completely useless. What we're supposed to be talking about is nothing but our security. Nothing else for now. Because they want to, they want to, you know, put a kind of discussion to us, for us to be saying something else. My brothers and sisters, we are so intelligent, we are more intelligent more than them. Let us keep everything down and talk about our security only for now. They are, they want to use uh, the air force to drop bombs and uh, send the uh, terrorist people will let us be monitoring our territory only only this is what is going on now we are following them pump and bomba to bomba listening to them they don't know the kind of they don't know the, the, the technology we are using to get them whatever they are doing they are fools also but people are to whom to follow they follow them security wise because if you don't follow it that way they are going to enter us they have entered us already we have to keep everything on our side for now and follow security way because they want to use their planes and drop bombs and so on and so forth we don't accept it we are not accepting the uh, 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 we don't have kidnappers in the east they should go to north we have spoken haram and his men are doing so many things and the zamfara state where they are doing so many things why are they disturbing us we are peaceful so our people should be very very careful and monitor our bushes our river line and our and, and our roads we need only security right now because they are coming we need only security right now i don't want this 
conversation uh, to right, be a can waste. You, can you summarize? Because your call, uh, your point is already noted. Can you summarize that I will take other calls? Thank you very much. This is what I want to shout about it. I want to talk about it. I want to cry about it. We need security right now. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. All right, we have just four, four minutes um, to go. Just a few minutes to go, and we'll draw the curtain. Hello, call on WhatsApp. Uh, yeah, when you are trying to summarize. Hello, are you there? Are you talking to me on Skype? Yes, call on Skype. Okay, good morning, Rod and Rosie, and good morning, uh, Matthew Friday, Friday. Good morning. Uh, my name is Pastor Jack, and I'm calling from Lagos this morning. Yeah, I briefly want to talk about uh, the video I watched and uh, what is happening in Madrid. I was surprised how the criminal and the other ones escaped into Madrid. And uh, from the number of uh, police I saw over here in Madrid, uh, it seems to me that uh, the Madrid police have been compromised. Our intelligence uh, intelligence uh, uh, agents on ground should change pattern. These people should be apprehended at the airport before they sneak into their hotels. And again, they should not be allowed to enter into that particular venue where they want to go and talk about their trash. Because if they get entrance, it's going to be a very big blow to us. But if they don't get entrance, they end up only hiding either in the hotel or captured in the, in the, at the airport. The, the, the reason or the purpose of their coming will be prepared. Now, having said that, quickly, uh, 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 quickly, briefly, as I well, I just said about security. I think, first of all, the, was it the communique that the Southeast governors released is very fictitious. They are criminals. You cannot say you don't have any hand in, in, in Operation Pattern Dance in the, in the Southeast part of Biafra. Whereas, at the same time, you are the ones that proscribe IPOB. So they are, they are liars from the pit of hell. Why do they proscribe IPOB? At the same time that they launched Operation Pattern Dance, immediately after Operation Pattern Dance, after killing of our people, they proscribe IPOB. And they never asked. What happened? Why did they, why were these people killed? Nobody set up any uh, commission of inquiry to investigate what happened, to show sincerity or their hands are clean. But all of them went mute. See now, you are coming to tell the gullible that you have no hands in operation to fight others. Only God will punish all of you. We must all, I think we have reason and we must pay all of you back. And finally, we IPOP we strategize to have their security, but in those bushes. Any fool any man will see in our land will get him down. It doesn't matter. You will go and bad brutal the chief killer of our people to come and be in the meeting and strategize how you are going to fight his people. He has been he has been, they have been protecting, supplying ammunition and weapon with their aircraft. He invited that chief chief killer in the sacrifice that you are doing meeting. Only I people will show you. You can do your shenanigan meeting. We doesn't care. But in the end, we will show you the stuff we are made up of. But all of you, clearly and open, openly, support Biafra and declare Biafra. There will be no peace for all of you called governors in Biafra land. Thank you very much uh, this morning. I Thank sign you. up from here. Thank you. Thank you. All right, one more call before we go. Call on the phone. Hello. Yes. Good morning, my man. Good morning. Thank you. What's my name? Good morning. Good morning. My name is Sayyid Mithechukwu. I'm coming from the other land. All right, go ahead. I, yeah, happy new month once again. I want to thank you all for the good work and also want to ask a question. This issue of uh, having security, you know, restricting our members from the diaspora from doing the right thing, I don't really know how to say this. Let me ask this question. If Gibraltar is being caught, red handed by our people and know what they are doing, objecting that they are trying to see they can protect us not to kill him there because many of us are angry, all of us are angry, not many. Now, is there any law that will hold us responsible if he is being killed in their country that made them to be restricting us from coming closer to those affected areas? Now, if there is no law, also, they should be in the position to tell us just to take it easy to get him appreciated than restricting us from doing the right thing. Except they have something hidden that they're not telling us. That is the question I'm trying to ask. Uh, secondly, the Nigerians who love Nigeria more than their life, the useless man who says still and still 
I feel like traveling Nigeria. I am telling you today, your traveling Nigeria will take you to grave very soon. Now, is it not good that Nigerians begin to call back here and ask the government of their fellow level Nigeria, where is this president? Show the video of where he is. Then we begin to counterfeit, they, they can begin to counterfeit what we are saying on air. Not sitting down there, we are doing the whole possible guys to help them solve their problem, and yet they are sitting at complaining, making us look as if, well, not us, making themselves look as if they are footmark, footmark, not even a tree, because my leader said, you want to come to another world, even if you a tree, you'll be at least, you'll be useful to be used as a devil. You understand? But these guys, I don't know where the economic importance is being attached. So, uh, this is all I want to ask. Thank you for now. Bye. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I think uh, Masiyoge will attend to that because our time already is fast spent and we'll be drawing the curtain here for today. So, before we go, can you summarize? Yeah. Uh, uh, I appreciate all our callers, uh, our viewers, and also our listeners across the globe. Your input and uh, reactions have been well noted, and I believe the IPOB leadership is uh, on it. And to the last caller, uh, we have the right to agitate. We have the right to seek for our right, and we will continue to do that. And our caller who suggested that you know we should uh, talk about security. Of course, there are so many issues that uh, we do not disclose on the air. That is why we urge all the members of IPOB or ID, all the members of uh, Biafra, you know, to identify with the family of IPOB nearest to them. If there is none where you are, you have the mandate to start one because it is our obligation. And we must do that. And someone who suggested that uh, the activities of uh, Anes and Ibo should be stopped, you know, up, uh, across the globe. Of course, it's a good one. And uh, someone that call who also said that uh, we should join them. Yeah. Uh, you all have point there. Uh, we are not stopping anybody as long as IPOB said we should not do that, or as long as it has not come from the office of uh, our director, Mazin Ambekano. And there uh, is a good suggestion that we join them, go to their midst, so that whatever thing they are saying there, you hear them, okay? You now make counter argument and say that this one we don't want it there because you are an Igbo speaking Biafran. So you are also supposed to be there. Just that. We distance ourselves from them because of the level of illegality, the level of crime they are harboring. And that is why we are distancing ourselves from them. But we must re-strategize because this time around, we must get Biafra restored by all means. And one more thing that our people should take to bank is that this quest will have gone far and we cannot stop it this time. And a lot of sacrifices have been made. Nigeria have our money. They are using it against us. They are buying all they can buy across the globe. Right. They can have the group of experts that are working for them. But the truth of the matter is that in the end, Biafra will be restored. The quest to get Buhari up house Jubril, I mean, Aslan, who is wearing the shoe of Buhari, the imposter from Sudan, is still going on. And I've keep repeating. This time, we will get him somewhere else. But Biafra must be restored. Thank you very much.